David Goggins is the toughest man alive. There's no doubt about it. Goggins is the only member of the United States Armed Forces to complete SEAL training, US Army Ranger School, and Air Force Tactical Air Controller training. Any of those accomplishments alone would have been impressive, but that's not all. He's also the current Guinness record holder for the most number of pull-ups done in 24 hours. Alongside that record are multiple first place finishes at the most brutal ultra endurance events, which attracts the toughest competitors from around the world. How does someone consistently push himself to his physical and mental limits? Let's find out in this video where we'll talk about top 4 David Goggins secrets of staying motivated. Secret number 1. Purpose trumps motivation. David Goggins doesn't believe in motivation. One of the first things he tells us in his aptly named autobiography, Can't Hurt Me, is that motivation is crap. Purpose, on the other hand, is something that Goggins can get behind. Pain obliterates our ability to think and function, but David Goggins isn't always fueled by a purpose greater than himself, something more compelled than his pain. But David Goggins is always fueled by a purpose greater than himself, something more compelling than his pain. It turns out that you can still keep going if you have such a purpose. Secret 2. Deconstruct things. This lesson of mental deconstruction has its roots in a process that all Navy SEALs must go through. Hell Week. It's the toughest period of SEAL training. Trainees are put through 125 hours of continuous training and typically get only 2 hours of sleep during that period. They're constantly cold, wet, and miserable. The idea is to drain the trainees physically and mentally, and then see what sort of decisions they make. Instructors do their best to make trainees ring the bell, which is used to announce that they are quitting. Nobody holds back here. David Goggins went through three hell weeks, all in a span of a year. Rolled over from his previous two classes, first due to illness and then to injury, he was given one last chance to complete SEAL training. Goggins did just that. Focusing on one challenge at a time, he would eventually graduate in this final attempt. Broken down into small pieces, there's no obstacle that is insurmountable. We find that there's always steps that's actionable. Add up the small bits, and we would have accomplished something we never thought possible. One step at a time is how 100 mile marathons get completed. Secret 3. Remember the 40% rule. Unbeknownst to Goggins, Jesse Itzler was participating in the same San Diego one-day race as well. The only difference was that he participated with a six-man relay team. Intrigued by how Goggins had manically completed the race despite his brutal injuries, Itzler invited the SEAL to live with him for a month. He wanted to learn more about the man that had finished the race despite being so ill-prepared. Goggins agreed with one condition, Itzler would do anything he said, no matter what. On the first day, Itzler was made to do 100 pull-ups. Itzler did 8 on his first set, then 6, and then fewer still. His arms were aching, but Goggins wouldn't relent. He stood and watched as Itzler struggled, doing one pull-up at a time. Itzler would finish his repetitions, as he recalls, in living with a seal. Quote, he, Goggins, showed me, proved to me right there that there was so much more. We're all capable of so much more than we think we are. He would say that when your mind is telling you you're done, you're really only 40% done. Research suggests that statement, the 40% rule, has some truth. We are often physically more capable than we perceive ourselves to be. For instance, researchers found that subjects who are given a placebo but told it was caffeine were able to lift significantly more weight than those who were given caffeine. There's a reserve tank within us that we never really tap on. Only by pushing ourselves to our limits and then breaking them can we reach our full potential. Secret 4. Be willing to suffer. You wouldn't know it, but Goggins hates running. He hates it with a passion. Growing up, Goggins has always been on the larger side. He loved powerlifting and had the physique to show for it, but in the world of ultra, such a large frame is virtually unheard of. It was just inefficient to move that much weight over such long distances. Goggins knew that he was going to suffer. That was precisely his plan. That was the only way he was going to raise enough funds for the Special Operations Warrior Foundation. But for David Goggins, suffering is not just about raising funds. As he says, suffering is the true test of life. Goggins isn't just training for a race, he's training for the tragedies that inevitably strike each and every one of us. He does this so he doesn't fall apart if he gets the 2am call from the hospital informing him that his mother has passed away. In other words, Goggins is the modern day stoic. 
but unlike any ancient philosopher who advised that we should periodically embrace suffering, Goggins has actually made suffering a habit. Strengthen your mind and your resolve by voluntarily putting yourself through situations in which you struggle. Callous your mind the same way you do your hands. Take the path of most resistance every day of your life. Thanks for watching guys. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any future content. Also, if you guys could please check out one of the two videos you're seeing on screen right now, it really does help us out. With that being said, I'll see you in the next video.